dang it. Okay, it happened again. Right, starting starting late, registering uh, when the contest starts. All right, so I'm sorry for what happened last time. You know, the, the sound didn't work for the first half. Hopefully it works now. If it doesn't work, then that would be sad as well. Okay. I mean, these numbers can't be too big, right? Okay, 10 to the 4. Okay, let's try this locally first. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do that. Right, there we go. So... Okay, so it's probably not it's probably not gonna take um it's probably not gonna be that complicated. So what we want Okay, well it can't be zero obviously. Surely it can't be that complicated. It's it said ten to the four. Oh yeah, okay. Um screw it. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay. That was a dumb question. I thought it would be more complicated. Also, I'm putting the screen like full screen here. Uh just so you can see a higher res. And also so I can put stuff over here that I don't want you to necessarily see. I feel like there should be something with XOR here. Well, I can't. Okay, I can't drag this window too far or else you can't see it. Can't cover the chat either. Okay, so we want to make sure each bit has at least one one. There's something with, there should be some simple binary equation here that solves it. Right, so if we have, okay, so let's consider one column. If C is 1, okay, we, we, we're going to need some kind of, like, uh, scratch paper here, but you can't see that. All right, so ideally, I should have some kind of a screen thing or camera to capture the I do have a camera. Well, okay, I should have a camera to capture what my, but this should be easy. So basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create a, a binary number or just a number so that we count the number of ones, and that has to be the number of bits that switch. Right. Well, 
let's try um uh, i have something here so c okay so x y z right x equals Oh, wait. Oh. You need them to all match the length. Right, because if you do something like bin 42, it doesn't, it doesn't just fill in zeros automatically. I mean, like, it has no reason to do that. I feel like there's something really easy that I'm missing here. You know what? Screw this. Screw this. Max Max works on Okay. Max works on tuples and lists and iterable stuff. So we want max. We could also use something called bit length, which determines, yeah, okay. I feel like I'm being really slow here. Like, usually I'm a lot faster, but maybe, maybe these problems have just gotten harder. I mean, technically, it should all be O n runtime where n is the max length, right? Tech. <sighs> but, mm. but then you'd say a or b, like if they're really big integers. Oh, it all depends on the size, anyway. So. Right, so what we're doing here is, if it's a 1, we don't need to do anything, and if it's a 0. Right, so this should work. What's going on? Yep. Let's just shrink my, shrink my face down by a bit. There we go. 
runtime error. Int object is not subscriptable. Right, okay. Runtime error. Okay, this is dumb. Whoa, 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 no, no. This really sucks. <sighs> what? Oh, two. Okay. Uh, but didn't they say three? They said three. There were three flips necessary. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <sighs> so what I did was I pressed the keyboard shortcut, control enter, and that submitted it automatically. Why is two the answer? Why is this being so slow? All right, that's good. Um, what we want to do now is make big numbers. Uh, constraints, 10 to the 9. OK, so these are some pretty large numbers. Wow, okay, it finished. That's good. That's good. That means it c this can handle uh, large numbers. Yep, okay, that was good. Except I was probably real slow on that. I mean, how many? 55, okay. All right. I don't like this. I don't like this. No, what are the constraints? Oh my god. N can be 10 to the 5.
Okay, so you need at least. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make a tree, right? Because in a tree, you can reach from one computer to any other computer um, using using a unique path, or maybe not unique, but so as long as there are n computers, you need n minus one cables at least, right? Right, okay. So so we can just cover that case. Right, okay, so we have that. Okay, so what we can do is we can do uh, DFS and then determine which computers are not connected. And then we take one of the computers that is that has like a lot of extra connections. Well, that one work either way. Because like if you have one and two, one has like five connections, but only one of them is to two, and two has no other connections, you can't take that one away. So we want to determine which connections are excess. Minimum. Okay, this also asks for the minimum amount of times. I feel like th this is difficult. Really difficult. I'm gonna just take a drink. Right, let's just write that code first and see where we where we go from there. Um, so for BFS, we're gonna call uh, we're gonna call it friends. So this is what programmers do. They they don't double check their code, they just run it to see if it works. I mean that's what I do. I mean probably everyone else does that too. Zero is connected to two and two is connected to one. But zero is connected to one. Right, okay. Right? Uh the code double checks itself. Also, I feel like I should record more of my face because then my hands.
can't can't really move. So well, let's try that. No, that's too much. That's too much. No, but you want to see my hands. Or at least I want you to see my hands. I think that's good. I still feel like that's maybe a bit too much. Oh, I can't. Ah, you can see the OBS screen. It doesn't go any lower than that. I wish it would. Why doesn't it go any smaller? All right. You know what? We're just going to go back to that. It's fine. Zero is connected to one, two. Okay. Well, okay. Now we start with BFS. <sighs> We want one of the computers that is part of the net. Wait, what if there's two networks? What if there's two networks and they're all connected to each other? Let's read the let's read the problem again. Maybe there's some dynamic programming here. Really hope my my microphone is right, because like if it's not, that would be really sad. But it shows up on the OBS, so how would it not work? If I put it like this, you can still hear me. Maybe I just had the wrong setting, so. Right, so if you have, this this is kind of like a sub-problem within a problem. Right, because if you have a cluster, no, if you have like a different networks, and I'm saying a network here is is a collection of computers that are all connected together, then then you have multiple of these networks and you want to connect these networks together and that's kind of what this what the um the individual small problem is as well cuz what they're not showing here is if there's a sub if there's a network over here 4 is linked to 5 right What?
Ah, oh, no. So what I was thinking is, if you have a network, you can remove all the excess cables and like store that in a memory somewhere. Oh, but you don't need to use all those cables. Yeah, okay, and then you take all the cables that you didn't use and you just subtract that from the from the total. And then you only have to consider that network as one computer because there's enough there's enough connections and computers left that just one of them will serve the purpose. But then you'd have to determine all the networks. Okay, so we got a plan here. You know what I just said, but the hard part is determining how many excess cables there are, right? Because like in this diagram, there's like two excess cables. Wait, okay, so if, if you have already a network where all of them are connected, is it possible? Hang on a second, let's, let's, let's get some paper. Here's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six cables that are connected. Oh wait, no, I guess you need to add them all. Right, because there must be a subgraph. Um, yeah, okay, we're we're gonna say graph now. There must be a subgraph that is fully connected. And that subgraph has exactly n minus 1 edges. All right. We got a plan. <sighs> we got a plan. Let's go. So we're going to use a stack on all of them? No, no, we're not. We got a plan. believe that like 55% 55 people have already done this like that's just amazing to me how th how people can do this fast but this is why you do contests right mm. maybe I'm thinking this too convolutedly but right so So if this has already been considered, then continue. Otherwise, we want to use what? Here, a set. Does a set have O N? What I actually wanted to know was, yeah, okay, that's fine. So we can actually make this just a set, right? Wait, is it removed? I think it's removed. Remove top. Okay, and for f in friends pop not 
Ten thirty. Ooh, but we want networks. Okay, okay, so we're gonna set a variable called networks. And this is going to be a list of lists where each sub list is a graph that is fully connected. And then we will determine how many connections that has. Whew. That would be difficult. No, it's not difficult. It's easy. No, it's not easy. Wait, not consider dot remove. That's confusing. All right. Uh, right. So. So we want to do something like subnet, and then we can do subnet dot pend f. Uh, okay. Subnet equals root because the root is definitionally part of it. And then we also, okay, uh, and then once we're done with all that, um, we can say network stop and no, we don't want to do that actually. We want to make it a dictionary and then networks uh, roots no, equals how many connections there are. Oh yeah, and of course we want to do stack. Right, so once we have the subset as part of it. Oh wow, I never realized that happened. Right, so once we've determined all the networks, we can see how many excess there are. Ah, okay, okay, so what we, yes, okay, okay, okay. Um, uh okay oh okay and then we can actually just re oh, okay oh my god this is easy right we don't actually need that we just need to return the length of the networks minus one Right, because that's how many cables we need to reuse. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait, what? Set? What? Huh? Uh. Okay. Uh. What do you say? Yeah, okay. Probably, probably not though. Three, okay, one, the answer is one. I would like to see the networks though. Wait, it says there's four networks. Okay, zero, zero, 
but obviously zero is connected to one. Yeah, we do that, right? Okay, but I'd also like to see friends to see which ones are friends of each other. Okay, zero is connected to, okay, so each one is connected to each other one. So we start with zero, right? No, we start with, we should, st uh, stack dot pop step. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. So subnet equals root. Mm. All right. At the end, we want to print not considered. So it starts with one, two, three. Wait, what? No, 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 not consider dot remove f for f and print. Okay, but the thing is, why isn't, okay, three is rightfully not connected, but the other ones are wrong. Oh. empty right okay Wait, did we say not consider dot pop? But the root is popped. Oh. Right, right, right. Okay. Got it. Mm, we accidentally. pop is not root. So we want to make sure we do the root. One time error. Key error zero, line thirty-eight. Not considering that remove pop. Oh. Right. So P error three, forty one. F in friends. Ah, okay. If it has no friends, right? We want to make sure each one has friends. Has um has at least an empty friend group. Right. So. Uh, not zero. All right, because three is not. But, but this is a good sign. It means it's uh, compile error. All right. Okay. Um, what happened here? 
No, we don't even need that. No. We don't need that. We don't even need the if state. One. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Uh, but... only thing we need is that right pretty sure also we might want a text document with all the test cases just to uh, just to uh, just to make sure it works. Two. Yay, it works. Uh, this is the first example. Negative one. Where we did this? Nope, we didn't. This is different. It looks like I'm taking longer than usual, but we can see how long it takes for me to get to problem four. And that will be okay. It's already been. It's already done. Okay, two. Why is 37? Not considered. But this means it must be in not considered, unless it's root. You can't be a friend of yourself. Hmm. Okay. Where are we going to put this earlier? Hopefully, uh, this doesn't take up too much room. One zero zero one two. Key error two, not considered. Okay, what if we have something instead called considered? Considered is just a set. While oh no, then maybe. No, we can't do that. We can't do that, because then we can't cons uh, determine which uh, which ones are not considered yet, right? That's the purpose of not considered. So, it said line thirty-eight had an error. Runtime error, 39. The last thing it printed out was 4. And 4 was the only one not considered. But 2. Oh, okay. Um, 
sine sine we can continue one no zero all right that's weird that's weird subnet we don't even need to keep track of the subnet oh we need a stack we need a stack though don't need a subnet Oh, okay. We don't need a total connections either. We don't need that. Oh, you can't see part of this. There we go. Move this a bit that way. Move this a bit that way. Okay. Now you can see everything except for the chat. Which. Okay, now you can see the chat. Yes, there is exactly one network. What do I? What, what is this printing? Not considered. Okay. So after one pass, it says zero is separate. Oh, okay, okay. So zero is connected to one. Zero is connected to two. Three is connected to four, and two is connected to three. Okay, so the first pass it says zero. And it says, oh, um, uh, yeah, something feels odd about this. Yeah, I didn't do the bi-weekly contest last week because, um, I mean this morning, because I was still up too late yesterday. Uh, didn't want to wake up. Well, what the heck? He has greater than one half a coin. That's, uh, that's a large number of coins. I'm impressed. So we start with zero. Um, zero immediately gets popped off uh it prints out prints out one two three four then then it says one huh all right okay so it says one and then two All right, and then it moves to the next one. So it pops off two. No, yeah. It pops off two. It's not in not considered. It is in, it's not in, yeah, okay. Ah. Uh, no, but you need, you need to BFS all the way, right? So. So we can't just have one universal not considered. Right, okay. Um I'm pretty sure that's valid. This I need to be pointing on the right side. 
but I can't. It's not close enough. I mean, I could do that, but that's just awkward. All right, I'll just use my mouse. You, you, you can see my mouse. This part, I think, is correct. Right, okay, so we need a universal network considered. No, 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 we don't need that, we don't need that. Uh, what we don't need is this, right? So you pop off two and you say, two is not and not considered, and that's true, and two is not the root. No, we, we need a universal, we need it. God, okay, um, we need a universal not considered, and then we need a sub not considered, right? So, uh, and then just the sub not considered is, uh, is just a sub list that we use. Right, so uh, no, we want to consider. Right, okay, we we have a, we have a consider. Um, there's no chance at all that this happens. Uh, or we can do that later. So pop it off. Uh, if no, we want to say uh, right. Okay, and then BFS, and then if F if it's considered, uh, continue. Not considered. I'll remove F. Stack that with an F. Okay. Runtime error, not consider, not defined. Line twenty. Okay. Uh, universal not considered. Uh, yeah, we can just have it not considered. We don't need a universal not considered. That's excessive. Okay. Mhm. Mm That's good. This one should uh. Should print negative one. Yeah, okay, we already know that. This should print uh, two. No. No. Uh, this should print three, actually. This should uh, fail. What the heck? All right, this should be. What? Not consider should not already uh, remove. Ah, unless it's root, but root should not be. Not consider not remove f. It says one has already been considered. Okay, let's let's do this manually. So we have. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Here, I'll just type it this way. Uh, but this might not be good for later, right? So we have zero, one, two, three, four. Zero is connected to one. Zero is connected to two, and one is connected to two. Three is not connected to anything. So we start with zero. The stack, but uh, this is not considered. I wish you could see what I'm writing. Maybe I'll maybe I'll scan these. No, I probably won't. That's too much effort. So, the stack starts with zero. Considered is zero. Uh, uh, we pop off zero. We say consider dot pen pop. Okay. The 
friends of zero are one and two. Uh, and they're both not in considered. So we remove one and two. And we add one and two to the stack. Okay, so not considered has to remove. No, not considered already, already popped off zero. All right, so one and two get added to the stack. Loops again. So we pop off two. Consider dot add two. Uh, in the friends of two, which are zero and one, we try to add them. Zero is considered, one is not considered. Oh. Right, okay. Actually, this should best be a list, be a set. 35. 35, not considered dot remove f. But the root is 0. OK, so we want to say the root is already being considered. One. That is correct. Hopefully, there's no other bugs. There probably will be. Uh, but if this works, then I'll just say it works and it's fine. Uh, I think I already know this is negative one. But all right, the final one should say zero. Right, and the microphone should be turned this way. All right. I find it highly unlikely that it does. No, 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 no. Can't wait. Right. So what is wrong with this? Why is it taking too much time? God, how can this be possible? Oh my God, that's, that's big. This very much seems like one of the last test cases they would give. But it's not. It's probably not. Because how do I open this in a new tab? Do I say print? Probably don't want to print that. Yeah, OK, don't want to print that. How do I open this in a new tab, though? I can't. Okay. Um. <sighs> Why does it take so much time? It says zero adds one. One adds zero. One adds two. Two adds one. So each one has two friends, except for. Uh, you probably want to copy that and put it in a new file. How do I add a new file? There we go. Let's see. Yeah. How do you friggin' make this work?
this is the optimal solution. Maybe we'll have to use Java. You know, who knows? So let's see if we can just convert this into Java and then test it to see if it works. I mean, I think this is the optimal solution, right? So, so it should work if I use Java. Probably won't have time to do problem four. Hash map. I'm gonna make a map of friends. Map. Uh, no. It's gonna be a map of integer to ints array. I'm probably getting this the wrong way around. I don't know enough Java to get this right. So, uh, Oh yeah, we want to import java.util. What? I, I'm pretty sure they'd have map in the standard thing. So put I... Ah. We're going to need this as an array list. Of integers. New array list. Is that how you declare new array list? Do you say array list is new list or? Um, okay. You want to say hash map equals new hash map? What? Okay. How do you declare this? Array list friends equals wow. Okay, that's the thing I'm using. Array list. No, I don't think. Right. Okay. Array list integer x equals new array. I think, uh, how do you do it? How do you do it? Um, Realist string. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, stop put I X. Right? Okay, so now uh, I'm pretty sure we can do that. Let's see if. Java raises any errors. Missing return statement. I feel like these problems are getting harder as the competitions go on. Um, right, so there's no good. What if we do that? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Replace key value. Okay. Um so now for int i equals zero, i less than connections dot length i plus plus. Uh Oh my god. <sighs> mm.
now do the same thing this way. Also, we probably want this test case. Uh, and the supposed answer is supposed to be What did they say the right answer was supposed to be? What? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not good. Okay, um I'm doing worse than usual. But we can't think that. Okay, so now we should have friends. Compiler dot replace. Zero, one, two. Okay, it looks like it works. Um, we probably don't want that custom test case for now. Right, probably just want one of the simple ones. Right. All right now, what next? Now I'm glad it doesn't have to be so complicated. A uh, set hash set hash set uh. hash set equals new hash set. Size, right. Ah, uh, um, not. Not consider that is empty. We say root. Uh, pop. Ah. Uh. How do we? So we can pop, pop from a stack, but we can't uh, remove. There we go. Remove. <coughs> right, so how do you pop pop from from a set? Fine, we'll just use an array list.
array dot shift move zero dot pop oh oh okay remove zero really Okay, so we pop something, so for int i equals zero, i is less than um, friends.get get pop. We can just loop through it like that. Uh, for int i and friends.get pop. No, okay. So, ah, stack. Okay. Stack. So, so while it's not empty, um, we pop something. So, um, considered, you want to say considered is something, right? Set dot contains, okay. Contains uh, I, then we continue. But otherwise, we do dot remove F, which is actually I, and int networks. And then we return networks minus one, right? So that took a lot of my time. Oh my God, stack out a pen. Yeah, we don't have a pen in Java. Stack dot push in. Right. Okay. Runtime error, line 50, line 50, what happened to line 50? Ah, not considered, doesn't contain it. Oh, not considered, not considered is an array list. <sighs> Oh, compiler dot remove integer. You can't declare integers like that. Okay, okay, okay. New integer. Right, we're making a new integer here.
Hey, looks like it's gonna work. Nope. Heck. Not considered. What do we do with not considered? Uh, we remove the zero element. Right, we, we perpetually do that. One, two, three. So the stack just never empties. Why does the stack never empty? God. Uh, oh God, okay, okay, that runs fast. So we just add one to the stack and then we just don't. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Forgot. Right. So, hopefully this works. We're near the end of the contest. Uh, answer one. Is the answer one? Yes, the answer is one. So, um, okay. Ideally, this should work now. If it doesn't work... Oh, oh, oh. You can't see most of this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So sorry. Right. Um, it says one. Now this should say two. Right. And then this should say negative one. And this should say zero. Zero. Yeah, okay. Um, and I have no idea what this should say. Like 22 or something. Wasn't it supposed to say 22? What? Oh my... F I thought this was the optimal algorithm. So we have 10 minutes. How are we going to do this? How do we determine the number of subgraphs? Right, this is what I want. Recursion?
How does this work? I can just define it inside. Uh, we're gonna have to use the friends thing again. Right, so everything, the only things that we don't want are or friends. So we do want friends. Um, Why isn't this deleting properly? Hmm. Right, so um, I think this is essentially the same thing, just with uh, hmm. okay, that's optimistic. Makes me feel uh, slightly better, even though there's five minutes left. Four. Okay, well that's obviously wrong. There's only four graphs. Right, so it starts at zero. It says it's not visited. It does util on zero. It says zero is now visited. So zero, check mark. Um, zero is linked to one and two. So it calls one. It says one is now a check mark. One is friends with zero. Zero is not called. Two is called. Two gets called. Oh, okay. Yeah. Two gets called by one.
Why is it? Why does it say there's five? That doesn't make sense. So what does it think the subgraphs are? Because can't possibly zero one. It says they're all separate. So zero. Oh, we probably don't want to do that, but that's fine. One and two, zero, one, zero, one, two, three. Uh, uh, not, no, if it's not ready, call it. Yeah, it doesn't call. All right, if I'm not going to solve this within the contest, at least I'll solve it here. This is, and then it prints one, and then it says, oh, well, one is not visited, so I'll call one. This just doesn't make any sense. I'm going to figure this out right now. You know, because what I really want is practice, not the ranking. It should call one, then say one is visited. It should call util on one. Oh my god. Yeah, now it's saying expected answer. Wait. That's not good. That's not good. I'll have to edit this again. Here, uh, I'm going to hide this and see, see uh, where. And I probably want to turn off the camera as well. Hang on. There we go. Right, so I found it. I'll have to edit that part out. God.
All right, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I was just sorting out some stuff. I'll I'll leave the chat on the side here. I'm not gonna record it anymore. I mean, nothing bad happened, right? So, so yeah, this is this is what they said. I'm gonna finish this problem. Hang on. Wow, zero, one, two, three, four. Wait, what does it look like? Hang on. Well, they are all connected, but it shouldn't be that connected or that unconnected. Oh, yeah, okay, let's turn the camera back on. Yeah, we can see me now. Yeah, so. return why would you return if <laughs> why would you even need to say this you don't need to say that all right Uh, yeah, we, we can, yeah, we can do that. Why? This doesn't make sense. Ah, uh, you only... Uh, let's try a more complicated graph and see what it spits out. <sighs> I'm expecting the same thing to happen. Yeah. So when it calls a node, it prints out the node and then it does everything for the friends and the friends are all on a different on the same line oh you can't see my hand if I put it there you can only see my hand if I put it here which means I should probably make it bigger there we go so uh, yeah you can see me um, All right, let's let's uh, do this on paper.
let's just use the most basic one. Also, this is no longer the contest. Uh, this is just me doing a leak code problem. All right, so so we say zero, one, two are all not visited, uh, and three are all not visited. So uh, we're gonna have to make like a stack for this. So so we say um, we we call the first one. We call zero. Zero is not visited. So we call we call util zero. Okay, you call util zero. We say zero is now been visited. We print out zero. So uh, standard out is going to be up here. Print out zero. Um, and then the friends of zero are one and two. So the first friend is one. We say one has not been visited. So we will call util one. All right. When we call util one, we will say, "Okay, one has now been visited." We will print out one, and that's the part I don't get because it prints out zero and then it prints out one. Oh, oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. Oof. Yeah, I feel dumb. I feel dumb now. I feel dumb. I feel very dumb. Yeah. I feel dumb. Well, now we can try submitting it as many times as we want. And, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we're done with four. No, we're done with three. Oh, my God. Okay, and we still have this one. Oh, my God. All right, so now it's time for, uh, after contest talk so I haven't really rambled like this um, before on camera but basically I'm sorry for last time where uh, it didn't record the audio for a bit because the microphone was bad um, I didn't do bi-weekly this morning because I was I was tired I should I will do bi-weekly uh, last time it's, I had to edit out some parts, um, and that's why it took three hours, but then it stopped in the middle because the video was too long. So, so then I had to cut it in half and do each of those separately, but then it couldn't join, join those back together again, which means it don't, it cut off at one hour. So I'm sorry about that last time where it just stopped at one hour and I was in the middle of doing a problem. I'm sorry about that. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for paying attention through this. And I guess I'll do this next week again. Thanks.